Welcome back. Today I'm in my anti-gravity chamber and using this impossible slide. Or I saw this online, couldn't resist getting it 3D printed and have been playing around with it all morning. So there's no batteries or magnets involved in this. It's purely an optical illusion. It looks much better from where you're sitting than from where I'm sitting. And I'll show you a little bit later how this one works. But just now we've got a new puzzle that's landed and I want to take a look at it. So the puzzle that has just arrived is this one here. This is the Bomb Destroyer puzzle. It comes from Ondo Brun and he's from the Ukraine. He's a engineer who manufactures metal um, puzzles alongside other interesting objects as well. So he's been doing this for several years. I think this is probably his third or fourth puzzle. I'm not entirely sure how many he's released at this point, but obviously the situation in Ukraine has been pretty drastic over the last year. And Andre, inspired by what was going on, designed this puzzle earlier in 2022. And it's a bit of a political statement against the bombs that are falling across his country. And it's a bit of an inspiration really, to be honest, um, that he's managed to create this with what has been going on. It's an interesting puzzle. We're going to take a closer look at it now, look at some of the features on it, and then get into a solution in a little bit. So this is made out of aluminium, brass and steel, mainly aluminium, I think. There's a little brass component on the nose cap here. The aim is to try and find the coin hidden inside. And if we give it a little shake, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that, but you can hear a bit of a rattling coming from the nose here. And this spins freely in both directions. You can spin it either way, and it doesn't seem to unscrew or anything like that. It just spins and spins. The tail, this part doesn't move. It's engraved here with Brinza's uh, little signature, but you can fully unscrew this. So Andre ranks this as a three, and I think it's out of 10, his difficulty ratings. Um, I would probably say it's a wee bit harder, and there's multiple steps to try and find the coin hidden inside. It's quite a nice, playful puzzle. And I just think it's a huge inspiration that he has managed to get back in his workshop and create something out of the, the situation that's happening there. I'm gonna have a look at the solution for this next. So if you do want to see that, stay tuned. If you'd rather not watch that, then I would recommend stop watching at this point. I will leave a link for this in the description below though, if you wanna check it out further. So to solve this one, what we're gonna to need to do is get into the nose cone here. So it's spinning pretty freely and there doesn't seem to be any way at the moment to open it up. But there's a couple of clues to lead us there. So if we have a look at the tail end piece, on the black ring here, there's a hole. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera, but inside there, you can see something that's moving around and could potentially come out and help us. On this side, this piece, if you move it anti-clockwise and try and unscrew it, nothing happens. But if you actually screw it clockwise, then this one will come out as well. Uh, you can see in this piece, there's just a thread in there. But on this side, we've got a hole similar to the one on here. And if we spin the nose cone around at the same time, again, this is probably going to be very difficult to see on the camera. But you can see when you're spinning it around the nose cone, there's a um, metal plate behind it. But as you line up, you can line it up to a point where there's a hole that matches with the hole. So there's a hole on this piece and there's also a hole on this piece that lines up. So if we could find some kind of tool maybe to put in there, that would help us to unscrew the top. And to find that tool, which is in here, what we need to do is use this other piece. It fits very snugly in here. And if we push it down with enough force, we can create a bit of pressure to pop out the magnetic tool inside. So I'll try this, it might take a couple of attempts. So there it's come out. And then if I just, it's quite difficult to make sure, oh, there we go. It doesn't disappear back inside, but we've got this thin magnet. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna line up the holes on this piece. I'm gonna drop that in. So there we go. And then if I screw this piece back on, that stops that coming back out again when they tip it back upright. And at this point, that pin is gonna prevent, you're gonna see what's gonna happen actually in a second, a little bit of force. And this now unscrews and you can feel it unscrewing against the thread and we've found the coin. So this is a cool little coin, little brass coin. And let's see if we can see. 
It says Skynet 2051 from the future. Skynet is your friend. Is Skynet our friend? Hopefully. And then we can understand a little bit more what's going on here. So on this side, there's just a little ball bearing. And um, we've got on the nose cap here some indents. And the ball bearing is going to be sitting on one of those. I think that's what's caused a little bit of pressure when, we, uh, when we're unscrewing it to start with. And on this side, there is the pin. And without the pin, this section is just connected to this and the whole thing is spinning freely and you're not going to be able to get anywhere. But with that lodged in there, that holds this piece firm while we can unscrew this cap. So not a massively difficult, but a pretty cool little puzzle. Um, you can see this is coming out here and now this piece is just spinning freely and we wouldn't actually be able to screw this back on like this because the whole lot would just be spinning freely. So in order to get it back again, you would need to line up again. Put the pin back in. Coin on the top. And screw it back together. So a really nicely made little puzzle there. The coin to find as well, pretty fun little touch. I would rank this a little bit harder than Andre's suggestion. I think this is probably going to be about a 5 or a 6 out of 10, to be honest. There's multiple steps there, quite a fun thing to try to work through and find a solution for. If you want to see how some of Andre's other items are made, he's got a YouTube channel. I don't think he's got one detailing how this is made, but he's got videos showing you the start to the end for the machining of some of his puzzles and some of his other objects. And he also does some like funny irreverent skits and stuff uh, mixed in with the manufacturing process. So it's quite fun to check out. I'll leave a link for that down below, but you can also check it out up here if you want to have a look at that. If you want to find this puzzle, we've got it available on our website. So I'll leave a link in the description down below for that one as well. So I promised earlier I'd show you how this one works. As I mentioned, it's an optical illusion and it looks much better from where you're sitting because from where I'm sitting, this is what I'm seeing. As you can see, a slightly elevated slide, but in the other direction. So if you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, it would really help us out if you subscribe to the channel. That's it for today's video though. Hopefully, see you in the next one.